What's up guys, Camachos here. So I thought I'd make a little guide for y'all showing y'all how to get yourself a dire horn mount or at least getting yourself a chance of getting a dire horn mount. Uh, a lot of y'all have probably seen these mounts but some people don't know exactly where they come from or where they drop from. They actually are a mount that drops from the rare mobs in Pandaria called the Zandalari Warbringers which spawn in five locations in Pandaria. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the locations right now. Um, one spawns in Kung Lai Summit. One spawns in Jade Forest, another one in Crusaring Wilds, Dreadways, and Town Long Steps. The one that spawns in Kung Lai Summit spawns right here, and the location looks like this. The one that spawns in Jade Forest spawns right here, and the location looks like this. The one that spawns in Crusaring Wilds spawns right here on this little island, and the location looks like this. The one that spawns in Dreadways spawns right here, and the location looks like this. And last but not least, the one that spawns in Town Long Steps is right here. And the location looks like this. Alright, so now you know exactly where they spawn. Let's go actually to the actual fight. And I'll show you how to solo them and uh, hopefully get yourself a nice mount. Alright, so as you can see, I am doing this as a Fire Mage. I know you can do this as a Frost Mage. And a lot of other classes can solo this. So hopefully this guy can help you out even if you aren't a Mage. But um, as you can see, I am playing as fire. These are the talents that I'm using. I'm using blazing speed just to stay away from him if he gets too close. Uh, ice barrier just because I like the uh, absorption. So if he does hit me, I can hopefully live. 45 talents really don't matter since you can't stun or slow him or freeze him or anything like that. 60, I go with cold snap just because I like the, the heal every three minutes just in case I do mess up. 75 is the nether tempest because I like uh, how it's instant and it does a ton of damage and uh, even though sometimes I derp and don't even use it because I forget uh, alright and level 90 is going to be Encanter's Ward that's because uh, he has an ability called Scarab Swarm that spawns these scarabs and sometimes they can break your Encanter's Ward giving you a little bit of extra damage to uh, help kill the Zandalari Warbringer alright so now that you know what talents I use, another thing I'd recommend is going to be the Glyph of Evocation just so you can heal yourself a little bit if you do get low and Cold Snap is on cooldown. But if you want to know exactly what abilities your Warbringer has, you can look under his portrait and there will be four little buffs that he has letting you know exactly what abilities this Warbringer can use. Uh, I'm going to go over each one of them and tell you exactly what they do and exactly how you need to counter them. Uh, all of them are very easy to to take care of and stay out of except for one which is going to be Horrific Visage. Uh, it'll say Tribal Mask on the Zandalari Warbringer. If one of them has that, I usually don't even bother trying to solo it just because it's really annoying. It's like a 7 to 8 second fear that you can't interrupt and it gives the Warbringer a lot of time to gain on you and hit you and end up usually killing you somewhere down the long fight. Alright, another ability he has is called Scarab Swarm, as you can see these Scarabs that are following me. Uh, they really don't do that much damage, you just have to, uh, you know, kind of just keep kiting the boss and then they'll kind of stay far behind you. Uh, but don't really worry about these, if you have to take on the Scarabs or the boss, definitely take on the Scarabs. Alright, the next ability he has is going to be called Meteor Shower. Um, he'll, all of his abilities are casted, so... Um, wherever he's casting is usually where the ability is going to affect. So Meteor Shower will just spawn a bunch of meteors that fall from the sky. And uh, they're very easy to avoid. And if, as long as you're moving the boss around, you shouldn't have to worry about being hit by one. Alright, the next one is going to be called Thunder Crush. Uh, Thunder Crush is a cone ability that he uses in front of him. That's nice and silvery and pretty. But you definitely do not want to stand in that because that will likely one-shot you or get you really close to dying which will probably end up uh, letting the scarabs finish you off. Um, the next one is going to be called Vengeful Spirit, where he spawns a spirit that moves about the pace of a 90-year-old woman. So as long as you're moving around, you really don't have to worry about that Vengeful Spirit hitting you. Alright, so that basically covers all the abilities except for that horrific visage, just because I don't really fight any of the Zandalari Warbringers that have that ability because it's really annoying. Uh, do keep in mind that people will try to come and mess you up, so if you are playing on a PvP server, uh, keep in mind you might be ganked at some point. And also, people try to get you killed. Uh, I think in this video, pe these people were just trying to help me, but ended up actually almost killing me because it messed up the little system I had going on there. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Keep in mind, it is going to be a very long fight since it's got 21 million health. So just keep kiting him around, doing what you're doing. You will probably die the first couple times until you get the hang of it. So don't get discouraged. Just go heal yourself up, buff up, and go at it again. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys, if this helped you out or you enjoyed it. Uh, that really does help out. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.